Hi, this is Melanie for Pardesi Reviews. I'm here to do a review of the film Ek Larki Kodeka Tol Aize Laga. Which is, the title is based on the 1942 of love story film starring a young Anil Kapoor. This film stars Anil Kapoor in the first time with his daughter, Sonam Kapoor. Julie Chawa has a major role and Rajkumar Rao is another one of the leads. This film, from the first trailer, I was so excited about this film. It's the first film to really deal with a homosexual relationship between two women. We had some films like Oligar that dealt in a very serious way with persecution of homosexual men, but I don't know that I've really seen a lesbian relationship portrayed on screen. I haven't seen Margarita with a Straw. I think there's something in that film, but not a mainstream film. Maybe there's side characters that you suspect and there are clues. For instance, in Dilda Daknido, you know, there's a daughter that the parents are constantly trying to get her uh, to dress up appropriately to meet men and she's absolutely not interested. So there's been little hints, but oftentimes Hindi cinema treats homosexuality just as a laugh gag. You know, you just, you have a character that's over the top and they're just comic relief in the film. Or you have something like Dostana where it's just a constant joke throughout the entire movie. But this is the first film that I can think of that dealt with it in a serious way, but also with comedy and entertaining and it's a mainstream film. They hinted at it very subtly in the first trailer and then it was even more in the second trailer. They didn't really reveal the face. It was like you could see a silhouette in the back of who Sonam was paired with. Sonam's girlfriend in the film is played by a South Indian actress, Regina Cassandra, who I saw in a very interesting part in the Telugu film, Awe, last year. This film is so sweet. It's just so touching. We, we see that Sonam Kapoor's uh, character is a closeted lesbian. She hasn't told anyone, but the, but her brother is just played by Abhishek Duran, I think is his name is, and he is just relentless in pestering her. You can't, you know, that she cannot reveal this secret because what shame she would bring onto their Punjabi family. She comes from a wealthy family. And he insists her father sequester her in the house so that because he, you know, he says oh, she's she's after a Muslim boy. She encounters Rajkumar Rao, who is a struggling playwright, and he, like the song, is immediately smitten with her. We saw that in the trailer. He just, you know, stars in his eyes. So it seems like the normal kind of love story. And then, as we saw in the trailer, she reveals to him her secret, and he's one of the first people that she's ever revealed that to. I don't want to spoil any major plot points because it's just fun to watch them all play out. It's just all the performances are so wonderful, especially Anil Kapoor. There's a couple of big party scenes where we get to see Anil just go, you know, just full <laughs> dancing and whatever. And I absolutely love that. Sonam is playing someone who, you know, a lot of the movie is very timid, is very shy, but then when she has to speak out, she really does. There's not a ton with the romance. It's just sort of something that is. And, and so maybe to me, that was something that was missing. I would have liked to see a little bit more of that, but I can understand how they're treading carefully with these mainstream audiences. And the second half of the film is really something happens to try to win over Anil to f make him understand what's going on. It's also to educate an entire town. And scenes that will uh, stay with me, there's at one point there's a play within the movie because Rash Kumar Rao's character is a playwright. And the look on a few young girls faces in the audience as they're 
seeing seeing the subject matter for the first time is something that's going to stay with me for a long time. Arnold's character just has this journey of, I mean, you know how it's going to end, just but how he reacts and how he comes to grips. I, I really liked how he played that part because I thought it was realistic, how he would blow up and then how he would react. So I really liked that. Rash Kumar Rao can basically do no wrong in my eyes. It was fun to get to see him play, you know, like in his head, he was part of a full romantic story, right? And, and just getting to see him play a part like that with just absolute, like I said, stars in his eyes, falling in love instantly and all of that was really fun. And I hope he gets to play you know, we get ahead a little bit of that in Street, but I hope as his profile is getting bigger and bigger, he's going to be able to do more roles like that because I just thought it was awesome to see him be able to do that. And Jewy, what can I say about Jewy? She was so funny in her part. She plays a caterer and I just loved the scenes with her and Anand. There were some of the best of the whole film. And it was interesting how there was sort of a parallel storyline with Arnold's character in that he's all, he loves cooking. And there's several scenes of his his mother, the grandmother in this in the household, chasing him out of the kitchen, turning off the TV when he wants to be watching a cooking show, just how he is not allowed to take another role other than the macho Punjabi businessman role you know how it's a parallel in a way and i i really liked i really liked that whole storyline and how it like i said paralleled what sonam had been going through and maybe made him more uh able to see when someone keeps you away from what you who you really are and what you love what that can mean like i said i don't want to spoil much more of what happens but i'll just say that it was very touched I don't think this is a five-star movie, but I think it's a very entertaining film. I hope everyone goes to see it because I hope it really does open hearts and minds and makes people really think about these issues. And, you know, they, they give it to you with a very entertaining script. There's a lot of funny side characters, the servants, the grandmother, everybody. There's so many different little entertaining moments, com comedic moments with this big subject matter. It has a such a heartfelt message and so hopeful in the end that, you know, I can't help but admire everyone involved for getting this picture made. It's Shelley Chopra Dar's first film. She wrote the script with Ghazal, first time female director. And I can't wait to see what Shelley Chopra Dar does next. I, and I just really admire yeah, Arnold and Sonam and everyone for saying this is the movie that we want to make. We want to have this message and you have to really admire Sonam for taking on a part like this which as far as I know no other major actress in the Hindi cinema had done anything like this. So kudos to her for doing that and for Arnold to being part of it too and it seems like he's extremely proud of his daughter for for doing this film and rightly so. Let me know what you thought about this film in the comments below. And I'd love to know if your family sees it, your friends, what's everyone's reaction to it? Is it getting a warm reception? I'd love to know, you know, if you go with a multi-generational family to see the film, what different people think about it. Please follow me on Twitter at ProDaisyYT. Subscribe here to the Bardaisy channel. And if you hit the bell, then you get a notification whenever I have a new trailer action or film review.